welcome back to YouTube and today we're going to cover how to wakeboard because with COVID-19 at the moment it's making it very difficult to do your normal sport whether it's rugby, football or whatever you're interested in. However, wakeboarding is one of the few sports that's very easy to do in a socially distant manner. As you can see right now, I'm at the Cable Park. Owen here is at least two meters apart from me so it's a great opportunity to learn a new sport get into wakeboarding and have a good time so in this video we're going to talk you through how to get up get going and then we'll talk about the next stages and that tutorial will be available very shortly okay so question number one is do you learn on a boat do you learn on a cable or do you go to a wake park or a system two where there's basically two towers so long story short any of them is perfect however if you have the option of any, I would say a system two. And the reasons behind that are because first of all, it's one to one. So you have instructions there. You have a, basically a coach just focusing on you. The second reason is it pulls you up in the sky. So a boat will pull you across, the cable will pull you up. And the third reason is because the instructor has basically an accelerator. So it, unlike a full size cable where you go from zero to 20 miles an hour like that, here they can gradually accelerate, which makes it a lot easier. So we're gonna put on the board now and we'll talk through the next step. Okay, so step number two is actually putting on your board. People might suggest doing it sitting down, but I find it quite awkward. So I'd actually say stand up on top of the board if you can, balance it in one foot, second foot and it's basically quite simple in terms of laces or straps don't worry about that you'll get them on nice and easily the other thing to bear in mind is that it will feel awkward the first couple times you have one in because you're strapped to it but try relax when you're in the water you have a life jacket on it will help you float or it will make you completely float and you have a helmet so just try and relax when you start to feel a bit awkward. Okay, so the next stage is actually getting up on the water. So there's kind of three fundamental rules here. Number one is your arms must be straight. Naturally, like we all do it, you're gonna pull to try and pull yourself up, but try and resist that natural temptation. The second one is have your knees bent. You can have them the whole way up bent as much as you like. And the third one is let the rope pull you up. So don't try to stand up too soon because you can go up and down the cable in a complete squat. So basically in summary, arms straight, knees bent, let the cable pull you up. And just like this, it will pull you off the dock. Okay, so that is in a perfect scenario, you get up, you go down and you come back and it's nice and easy. Now, generally what I will say is, the, the operator or the instructor won't take you the whole way down the cable. They'll actually maybe go halfway down, turn you around before the ramps and come back. That way it's easy for them to communicate with you and give you tips. Now, the other thing is right there, I did a dock start. It was nice and dry and it was lovely, but I'm gonna take one for the team here and show you how to do a deep water start. It is freezing cold. I am wearing a short wetsuit, but this is the things we do to get views. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you get in the water, what's probably gonna happen is the board's gonna float up in front of you and it will feel quite intimidating, but just let it happen, paddle around and get used to it. Then you wanna ideally put the, the rope over the front of your board and then it's the exact same situation. Let the cable pull you nice and slowly and then it'll get you up on your feet. And there you have it, just like that, you've wakeboarded. Most importantly, remember you've got a life jacket on, so you're gonna float if you fall in, so try and not panic. The other question that will arise is, what foot do I put forward? And now I've debated here with Owen on, should you put your right foot forward if you kick with your right foot? What I would say is, don't think about that too much. Let what happens, or let what's natural happen, and you'll figure it out most efficiently. And that's basically it. In the next video, we're gonna talk about getting to a standard where you can actually hit one of the obstacles. So it's kind of things like being able to ride switch, maybe do some ollies, some ollie 180s, and of course, taking the corners. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, uh, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. See you soon.